Okay, right. We should be back now, guys. Sorry for the loss in programming, but... I was a bit behind on the live. You're like, okay, I'm gonna switch. Oh, and then it went black. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully it's back on. Oh, God! Okay, right. Let's... Let's recover SJ Garfield and the Cock Lobster because it rolled away in the latency issues. Um, but he had 37 science on him, which is good. And there's the Cock Lobster. And that had 55 science. Uh, oh, no, it had some science on it. Not, not 55, but a chunk. It's so far away. It is, dude. It is. But it's okay. I'm going to put some things on to help fix the issues we were having. That's why we have test runs. There we go. You have a ladder now. I'm sure that's going to help it in terms of aerodynamics when I strap it to a rocket. Garfield's ready. Launch the cock lobster. I somehow made money from that excursion. I don't know. Obviously some people are excited in one day purchasing a cock lobster of their very own. Honestly, I don't know how you're going to deal with the blistering pace of this on, on the moon. Ooh. Oh, God. Um, ye yeah. Um, secure hopefully so All right, anyone have to give me a shout if we have any weird droppages but yeah for whatever reason that was that was a killer right start retracted for a start yeah uh. Trying to sort out our writing mechanism ish. Bosh. Right. Cock lobster. Ready. What are you building? Not sure yet. Could be a car. <laughs> Could be a base. Let's see where it ends up. <laughs> It's not Robot Wars, that's a self-writing mechanism with <laughs> shit. It, it, it's gonna be, it's, it, look, it's gonna be fine.
to the Coley Islander from Vehicle. Cheers for that clip, my friend. I'm sure that will only paint me in a good light. At the rate like this, I should just leave you on the moon. Where are you? I miss you. Shea Garfield seems to be taking his mission very seriously. So how is everyone tonight? Anyone up to anything particularly interesting? Why did I put a Kerbal Engineering in this? Hmm. Why not, I suppose? Revenge for all my Super Mario B3 clips. Yeah, in fairness, you guys uh, should definitely, if you're enjoying me screwing up all this kind of stuff, you should go and check out... Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Come on. Made a breakdancing cock lobster. Hey! Um, is your mod stranded on the moon? Good show. Hello, uh, Orthova. That is very true. My mod is stuck on the moon. Uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a sad time, really. A little bit of a sticky wicket. Um, but I'm determined to get him back. That's why we're doing a science run around our base to try and scrape together uh, enough science. Um, to effectively be able to buy some fairings to make our rocket more aerodynamic. So hopefully we can get it to him in better shape. Um, and in a shape that's flyable. Make him work for it. I don't know. Another. Mate, I've made him work for it. I have been firing ICBMs at him for about five days. Uh, and there's more rocket debris on the moon than there is moon. There's going to be so much tasty, tasty science on this one. Ooh, don't you fall off there. Right. Collect all the data. Restore it. Collect all the data. Restore it. Collect all the data. Restore it. Go back here. Thank you for the host, my friend. Greatly appreciated, as always. And you guys should... Oh, God. You guys should definitely go and check out Alapega. I was watching him on No Man's Sky today. Uh, and it is a quality stream always, even though he needs to tidy up his base. Hang on, let me just give Alapega... Uh, there we go. Got a shout out for Alapega. Go check out his channel. He is a lovely guy and has some good content. How do I get back into the. Oh, oh the ladder's just not quite tall enough. Hang on, right. Right, get on the ladder. Yeah. SJ Garfield is really not... He's not helping things. Get on the ladder. Climb. Why can't I reboard? 
Hmm. I'm noticing issues with this cock shaped rocket. Please come back. How do I put the brakes on? Oh, I suppose I have to put the brakes on myself before I get out. Oh, God. Turn on lights? What? There's a light? Okay, I've, I've stored the experiments. How do I get back in? Climb! Oh, God. Uh, Alapega, where's the hike video? The hike video, I've had a few... Right, okay, we're going to recover the vessel and, and put a better ladder on. Or maybe even change the cockpit. But um, the hike video is still in the process um, of being rendered. I tried to render it earlier today, and um, I'm having the whole kind of like... 80s martial arts issue with the lip sync. For some reason, my video editor has had a little few issues, and it keeps me going like, I'm going up a mountain. Um, but it will get there. Uh, I say it's about an hour, 30 minutes or so. <laughs> Reminds me of that time I tried to hijack a moving tampon. <laughs> oh, mate. Um, Author of a, I, 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 I don't recognise a name, so unless you're someone that's changed the name, I don't think you've been in here before, um, but <laughs> you certainly seem like you fit in here nonetheless. Do you not board from the other side where the foot... What? Ah. You might be right there, Martin. There are some actual ladder sections there. Maybe you, maybe I was blaming Garfield for not getting in the craft when he was actually trying to get it in the wrong side. But just in case, let's just let's have, let's not spare money on our scientific vessel and slap as much ladder as it can handle. Right. The tampon is repaired. Um, you gave me a 10-man host uh, a week ago. I'm yours now. Yes, dude! I do remember you. Oh, yeah. Um, that was... I, I, I forgot that moment because, dude, when I gave you that 10-man host, um, I was then about to set off on... Uh, my hiking adventure, which a few people have been talking about, and I was basically shitting my pants because I thought I was going to go and die in a mountain, or on a mountain, or involving a mountain. It was it was a tense time for me, so a lot of that week was generally blurring. Um, but welcome to the channel. I'm glad I've got you now. More ladders for speed. They're like racing stripes. Exactly, mate. Right, so we've collected the hangar. We've collected the building there. We can collect the hut and the flag. He said it seemed like we'd get on, but you haven't even called me once. Dude, this is the first time I've been back on Twitch. The nose cone exploded. That's fine. All I was doing was driving. Ooh, ooh, brakes, 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 brakes. Um, but yeah, so I haven't actually been on until the... I uh, knew it. No, it would randomly blow up. Don't, don't start. He's a user abuser. I'm not a user abuser. Shut up. I don't have to save you from the moon, you know. And all the rest of you better be nice, otherwise I'll put you on the moon too. Would have got away with it if it wasn't for those damn kids. Right. Crew report. Collected. EVA. EVA report. 
happy days. Let's open this. Ooh. Oh, let's board the ship first. He's still up there, my god. Yeah, dude, I, I was trying to save him. Um, and the last attempt I had was just before I, I came over and gave you the host. And then I was away on the hike for uh, nine days in total. Um, so I haven't been back. And I got back on Thursday, felt like a wrung out tea towel. Um, and I've just kind of like been slowly reforming like the liquid metal terminator until I've become a human being again and now uh, I have returned to try and actually not let him die up there right can we can we do this this time third time's a charm Let's collect the data and restore it. How do I get... Okay. Right. Collect data. Restore. Now, can we get back on board? Board! Cannot store experiments. Okay, all right. Store experiments. Store ex um, ah, it's probably just the, the goo that's the same. Okay, that's fine. Bored anyway. Um... He makes me do unspeakable things. Shut up! I told you, you get in trouble if I told if he told anyone. Um, slavery is more. F slavery was more friendly to people. True. Um, two years ago, still stranded on the moon, still smiling. Uh, for the record, I do want to be there when he finally gets that helmet off for the first time. Yeah. Honestly, imploding alien heads. Oh god. Day 405 on the moon. I've been surviving by eating goo attached to the rockets. Rob keeps firing at me. At some point, I think he's trying to fire rockets in my location to blow me up, not save me. I fashioned a spear out of a broken landing gear from my rocket because I have been hearing weird sounds at night. I think the aliens are real. Dude, dude, that's not aliens. That's me trying to get you. I'll get there. Breaks, breaks, breaks. There we go. Right. Open. See, effectively, this is like the parking brake. Really sad parking brake. Remember to do your experiments while you're in the rocket, you diggity dunce. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's not very good. Let's close that and drive somewhere else, somewhere more fun. Well, we're done over there. Let's. Exactly, mate. 
I am the king of square peg round hole. I, it may not look like it'll work, but it'll work in some manner. Example A. Parks. Like a glove. Collecting the data, closing the doors, restoring. says all right well we've got two lots of places here i don't want to lose any experiments so let's recover this dude and then recover it again not what you sell out <laughs> damn right he is i mean <laughs> don't judge my nightbot he's doing a necessary job pimping me for money let's recover the lobster yes we are 112 and we, we made some more money out of that. How random. But that means I have fairings that I can buy for rockets now. So let's just double check some other struts and things. And some landing gear. Wheels. We don't need them. We can barely land with normal landing gear. Where's the actual rover parts? Because I'm sure there's like a rover section, isn't there? Field science. <gasps> That's some sexy rover wheels right there. Right, anyway. So, we don't need landing extra stuff. The lander can and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, RCS. Could be really handy, but let's get some efficient cones. <laughs> Martin, don't worry. Your external command seat will be fine. You'll be strapped in, you'll have a seat belt. It's all you need. Johnny a fan! Good afternoon, dude. How are you doing? <laughs> Reconnecting with all these familiar faces. It is delightful. Right, so... The moon mod... Mark 3, I guess, is what we're on. Here we are. Oh god, this is over designed. Now, if I extend those, they extend past further than the engine. So let's start them retracted. Let's just see if I can 
move any of this down a little bit. Because, quite frankly, anything that, re like, that that lowers the amount of chance I have for crushing your engines, like I have done many times, um, is going to be a brutey bonus. All fuel still reconnected. Yeah, that seems fine. He says. Knowing that 90% of the time things aren't fine, he just doesn't care. Let's get rid of the cones, the old poopy nose cones. Airstream protective shell. Hmm. Right. Nope, not that nose cone. Proper nose cones. Proper nose cones that fit. This is gonna help, Martin. I can feel it. from the why didn't it connect to that one I'm going to place the nose cones in symmetry mode Good shout, Jonathan. Thank you. Oh, God. Right then. It's been a while. A little bit of time away from this game has made me calculably worse. Believe it or not, that could happen. We're going to bring you back, Martin. I can feel it. Right. Let's save this. Take the crew out. And I don't mean as in like... Poof! I mean, get them off the ship. Let's launch this bad boy. So we want rockets. Detach. Rocket. Detach, rocket, detach, titchy rocket, detach, detach, bring Martin home. Perfect. Nothing could go wrong. Nothing could go wrong. I think my noise gate is slightly low. I think the background noise plugin is reset or something. Possibly, maybe I'm just talking a little bit quietly or... No, everything's unmuted. Um, my mic volume seems to be fairly high. Maybe if I bring down my desktop volume a little bit. How's that? Is that a little bit better? Your voice is fine, just getting bursts of static from the background. It might be how loud the music is. Maybe you're picking it up from the headphones, because the headphones are very surround soundy. Hopefully, that will help a little bit. Like from your piece. Ah! A little bit of static. I have a fan on, because it is hot as 
Balkan's testicles in my room. Um, so, yeah, there is a fan. That's probably what it is. My apologies. Uh, right. Let's... Right, ladies and gents. Let's prepare for the launch of the successful moon landing mission to save Maelstrom Alpha. Can I have a countdown from three in the chat? from whoever does it first it's workable rather than uh, rather have a little bit of stack than you die of heat stroke three two one two three go um, most authentic replica of Falcon 9 I've ever seen I, I don't know what Falcon 9 is but hooray oh god didn't put the SAS on before it started launching. Whew. Nice straight line up in the air there. Wait, what? It's okay, Johnny FM. It's okay. Don't like the lyrics of the song that's come on is we all keep crashing down. Right, our perhaps height. 11. We've got more in the tank than that. Oh, look at these sexy new Lowe's cones. I'm hoping that's going to leave me with a load of extra fuel. Right, let's start to get some tilt on. Oh, oh, some tilt, some tilt, not lots of tilt. Oh, that's lots of tilt. I'm so elite. Please tell me you've heard of the rocket SpaceX is launching. Mm, mm, no, sorry. Uh, that I have not, unfortunately. My apologies for my hubris. Maybe I have more luck bringing the moon to me. The North Korean rocket is back. Um, yeah. Right. Let's let's get a little bit of tilt. Carry on. Catching up with one of my rescue missions, who's been there for quite a while because I developed a more important rescue mission. That was Maelstrom Alpha. Here a bit. Right, 
Oh, I missed the beast rockets. They made this so much quicker. Um, of course you can, Jonathan. Feel free to post links. Don't worry about that kind of stuff. I'm laid back AF. Unless it comes to saving Maelstrom Alpha from the moon. At which point that is something that I cannot joke about. I've got to get this sorted. Well, let's, let's warp to here. Right, so we have an orbit, which is half the battle, and half of our catastrophically long section of rocket left, which is good. Go watch that ASAP. Um, I will watch it the second the stream ends, Johnny Ethan, I promise. Um, SpaceX is a commercial company building reusable rockets. Uh, they land on the first stage booster and can fly again. For high altitude launches, they uh, also have to land on the barge in the ocean. Wow. The booster is 230 feet tall. Is this the one Eli Musk, Elon Musk made that he strapped a car to? Is that is that the one? Hang on, light, lights are needed. Oh. Hang on one second, I need to draw some curtains. Back in one sec. Part on the Falcon Heavy was basically um, just basically three of the uh, the car was on the Falcon Heavy, which is basically three of the Falcon Nine boosters strapped together. And they landed the two-sided booster, but missed the center one on that launch. Um, I don't want to worry you, man. Um, but a man with no hands has hung himself behind you. <laughs> yeah, dude, that is is my wetsuit. Um, it isn't a man that's hung himself behind me. It is not one of my mods that didn't sort out the channel correctly. That is, yeah, my wetsuit. I do a lot of open water swimming. Um, so, you know. Right, so Moon is there. We're going to the moon, so we are going to add a maneuver. We're going to prograde burn all of it. Ooh. And we have a moon encounter straight away. Ooh.
Oh god. That'll do me nicely. There's a goal to build a low orbit satellite um, based ISP with tens of thousands of satellites, so they need to rapidly reuse the rockets. Um, and they use the money from the ISP to fund the mission to Mars. Ooh, cool. Um, uh, it helps, it helps you on the way to Mars. Uh, at least you'll have company. Exactly. What I need more people up on the E L U L. They're also working on recovering fairings by no joke, uh, gliding them with a parafoil and catching them in a net on a ship. Dude, oh, I've missed the the, the burn point for my uh, thing there because I was happily reading the chat. Right. That's fine. We can still make this work. fine well that's wonky but that's fine we're on our way and we have a fag papers worth of fuel from that one as well oh let's not warp the next maneuver well let's get rid of that maneuver for a start there and let's Warp here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, our wonky approach to the moon. Um, not ideal, but that's fine. Can I add a maneuver in here? Uh, we're gonna. Oh god, that's not a moon orbit. Neither's that. Okay, maybe let's not do the manoeuvre there then. Let's manoeuvre here. That's not what I need to do. Haha! -ha. That's a shoddy orbit of the moon, but that's an orbit of the moon nonetheless. Let's warp here. Uh, if you double click the MUN, uh, it will shift focus and be easier. Ah, on the. on the map. Okay. Ah! So it will! Give a man a fish. Ah, 
<laughs> Too late now, though. Mm. Um. Okay, cool. All right. Got three minutes, so let's... Swing us round for this manoeuvre. Oh god. Bosh. Um, even when you enter the moon's sphere of influence, uh, you can burn radial in and radial out to adjust. Fair dues. Three seconds of burn, it reckons. Okay, we need to go to the next stage. Add a manoeuvre down here and try and bring you down. Now is Mark two, Mark one, right? You're in the Mark one pod. So if we aim for something like that, maybe pull it in just a bit. You can't aim uh, directly at them from here. What, so effectively I should carry on? Okay, let's let's warp here. Ah, and then it'll rotate and then we have to correct. Okay, good to know. Join a fan, my, my co-pilot extraordinaire, obviously. Yeah, could be another reason why I've been so dramatically missing him in the past. So I'm back with coffee. What did I miss? We're lining up to come get you, sir. Oh, so you think I should just actually bring my orbits in 
get really a shallow orbit and then just try and drop onto him. Ah. Well, I certainly have. Okay, well, I haven't been doing that before. And I am one for taking advice, so I'm going to warp here. And bring it in. Be a slower descent that way too. Don't you act as if you you agree with this information now, Maelstrom Alpha. You've told me in the past just to kind of hammer it in as I've been going. I think you just want to die on the moon. Right, I'm going to go 50, and then bring the other one at 50. It's because you had about 2% of your fuel rush. No, no, it, no, I didn't. We had acres of fuel. See, this is why you're on the moon, because you're a poor pilot. Not because I was driving. And I panicked at the last minute and clicked the, <laughs> the aligning with Apple apps and it flipped the rocket upside down at the last moment. And then we crashed on the on the, the engine. That wasn't what happened. And if you remember it differently, that's just that's just you, but I'm just saying that's not what happened. gonna say I can't affect it but it's because I'm out of satellite range that's unfortunate should be fine when we get to actually just go to the Apple apps and change it there satellite reach could also be an issue I haven't got a butt plug satellite over here um, but that's that's fine that's fine even when you pull the manoeuvre to save your fuel, you should have the fuel to get off the moon. It'll be fine. Hey, if I can get you in the air, that's a step in the right direction. At least you're not on the moon. Let's get down at 15. Walk to there. Where there's no satellite. Stop, 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 stop. How do I stop? Walk to hit. Stop it. signal is gone. This could be an issue. 
and may have been FY you can still use X and Z when you have limited probe control. Um I, I, I'm gonna maneuver here and try and get myself. Whoa. Nope. That's nothing like what I was trying to do. Add maneuver. Trying to adjust my tilt. Right. Uh, you can just wait several orbits until he rotates underneath your trajectory. Really? Okay, if you're saying it's going to be cheaper in fuel, I, I will just wait then. I wish I could go faster than this. Might want to do it from the tracking station. Oh, oh, I can do that. Okay, so... How do I go back? Ah, I need to click back on me, don't I? Oh, lordy lord. Escape, uh, yeah, <laughs> mate. It's amazing how much you lose. Right, tracking station. So, go to the moon. Aha, and then I can just. Oh God. Jonathan, you have been, from day one, the king of my efficiency. 
Look at that. So nearly on there. Yeah, it's time to fly this puppy. Right, so now I just burn retro and bring it in and, and then just come down on him, I suppose. Am I am I right in that assumption? Quick save maybe. Dude, there are no quick saves in this game. Sadly, if I bin it, I bin it. Iron Man mode, no reloading. Okay, well. Let's start bringing this baby, bad boy in. If there was fuel in there. Do an ever so slight maneuver to actually just so I can angle in on him a bit. One tiny mistake or bug wipes out so much effort. Dude, yeah. Oh, playing on hardcore mode, I applaud that. I started my career. It's super fun in the early game, but once you get on the missions, it takes 20 hours to complete. It is madness. Yeah, I I, I completely uh, expect that. that. That makes me sad, but we'll see how it goes. Right, have we got a time to impact? Where is oh uh surface impact three minutes right when it gets to about a minute I'm gonna start pulling off hopefully that's about right answers on a postcard we've got about two minutes for yes or no's because we're travelling 270, that a minute should be enough to bring that down, and that'll probably bring us in a bit more on you as well. It's why your time by your speed and acceleration estimate how much time you need to stop. Uh, yeah, I'd say about a minute. This is how hopeful I am. Oh, 
I can see you down there, Martin. Right, one minute thirty. You have landing lights, but watch the electricity. Yeah, I'll flick them on as we're coming in. Right. Let's start bringing that speed down. Don't need to bring around too much, it's going to fall again anyway. Yeah. Okay, right. I think I brought it down fairly so you're actually a reasonable away from the, the crater now. Hmm. I suppose I could maybe tilt towards you so it will burn towards you as I'm slowing down. Anywhere within 10 kilometers is fine. Oh, nice. Okie dokie. Guys, Woo! well, on the plus side, at least I didn't leave any annoying debris laying around <laughs> this apparent flying observation bay. This is my life now. Okay, we learned some valuable lessons on that one. You went from burning a little early to way too late. Yep. What happened there? <laughs> Got distracted and forgot about suicide burn. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Let's uh, let's observe the goo, shall we? The goo explodes. And uh, log the temperature. Oh, that's nice temperature in this section of 
And just lock the pressure. How, how delightful. Let's go back to the space center and try and do that all again, shall we? Well, no one's dead. That's very true. Um, I'm still sliding, so I can't actually leave. Uh, currently, I don't think. It, it, it won't let me. Let's just put the brakes on. Okay. Let's get back to the space center. Well, attempt number 467 to bring back Maelstrom Alpha starts again. Hey, you landed within a kilometre. That's super good precision. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Always looking at the positives. Love it. Just try looking on the bright side. Yeah, mate. Yeah, definitely. I am all about the bright side. I'm tempted to put four of these monstrosities on there um, just to give me more angular flop turning. Um... Ah, it's fine. It'll be fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. Oh, hang on. I might have got taken crew out of this. There might be some poor and unfortunate soul in this. Yeah, a logic coma. He never died beforehand. Angular flop turning. Yeah, mate, that's a technical term. Do you not know about angular flop turning? It's very important. Look, stop giving me stick, Maelstrom Alpha. I have spent more money on anything else other than bringing you home. You have been the number one priority since you have had your issues. Poor Keldon Kerman. For some reason, he's here, but we all know what truly happened to Keldon Kerman. We got him out of his pod. And he burned up on re-entry. I was being plenty positive. You didn't read it. Yeah, the landing was a good sight. Uh, <laughs> the landing sight was good. Landing was bad. That wasn't positive, Martin. Right. Without any further ado. Here we go. Sass. Nearly forgot it again. <laughs> I really need to do more pre-flight checks if I'm going to play it online, man. Landing site was good. That's positive. Landing was bad. Not positive. You have to have this in a sandwich. Positive, negative, positive. It's, it's the reinforcement sandwich. It's what I say at Wendy all the time. Right, we're going to hoss up to 10,000 before I start to even think about turning. Just because this has got all kinds of wobble. We used a lot of tumble fuel last time. You're arguing the landing was good. No, no. I never said that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't you dare stop it. Stop it. Okay, well, I put some angle on it. Oh, too much angle. I should just stop trying to turn this thing.
need to turn very gradually or use a fairing. So the draggy stuff on top was making you flip. Yeah, it flips for star points, mate. It flips for star points. Sixty no scope the mun Yes, that is exactly what's going on. I've always come so close to a capsule of the poor little sad folks that are still going round and round the mun. Round and round Kerbin, sorry. God bless him. Got a little bit of big hoss rocket left. At least it looks like this time we're not going to be super on the wonk. Where's that sweet, sweet periaps? Oh, I have a feeling when I'm getting on those 20 hour missions, there are going to be some devastated keyboards by the end of it. I'm almost tempted to launch the butt plug launcher again, Martin, to see if I can get some satellites around the moon just to help me have some control when we're trying to get you out of there. <laughs> 20 hour mission, stranded, two years. Oh, uh, uh, lifetime Mun mission. <laughs> Feels bad. Dude, dude, you're not on a lifetime Mun mission. You've just been there longer than expected. That's what we're saying on the small print, that's what we're telling your family. Right, where's the moon? There's the moon. Add a manoeuvre. Nope. Hmm. Really want to be doing that.
That'll be something to work with. Uh, nice orbit. Thanks, dude. I'm I'm pleased. Despite the 360 no scope, it seems to be going okay. That was just a necessary part of getting the cool points. Mate, that's exactly why it was. Why else would I do it? The fact that I missed my manoeuvre node again. That's nothing, that doesn't matter. That's fine. Why well, shouldn't I slip off the manoeuvre too much here? Yeah. So many things to remember, like where you are, you can be literally a gnat's cock away from doing it perfectly, and you slip that one little iota out, and you've suddenly screwed the pooch for the rest of your life on this game. There we go. Got a bit more fuel left than we had last time. Not a huge amount, but... Alright, let's... Get rid of the manoeuvre node. And warp here. There's more called curb and alarm clock. It helps you avoid missing things like that. Um, I'm also, despite... Uh, making things already difficult myself with the Iron Man mode. I'm also trying to do things as vanilla as possible, Johnny FM. I really am punching myself in the dick with this game. Um... Okay, so... Yeah, I was right, Burning Retro. I just need to... Come further back. Um, don't understand. Add maneuver. Hmm. It won't seem to let me bring the orbit round. Yeah, um, Kerbal Engineer and the, like, prettifying everything up one. Right. No. What am I doing wrong here, guys? Just wait until you get inside the sphere of influence. Okay, well, I'll... I'll warp to here, then. Yeah, don't do it until you hit the encounter properly. Oh, God, I've just noticed the encounter's all... That's weird. Oh, 
Right. Add a maneuver, so I'm going to try and what the shit. Uh, burn radial out, raise the PE. R radial out. Radial out. Is that that one? Ah, yeah, okay. And then... Okay, so we need to do that. Whew. Get rid of that old manoeuvre node. Oh. Which one's the old one? Nope. It was that one, wasn't it? Oh. Nope. Oh, God. Where's... Th oh, that's not a manoeuvre node. That is just generally me being at all. Oh, right. So... Radial out. Bring it in. Radial out, bring it in. Yeah, too much. Okay, right. Yeah, um, it's more the maneuver nodes is because I'm I I don't know the nodes well enough to know where stuff goes, so I pop in a maneuver node so I know w w what's going in. Okay, so tiny radial burn, a bit more than that, a bit more than that, like that, and then retro bring the orbit in. You don't need to retrograde. Um, just radial out here and then burn when you reach the PE. Ah, uh, okay. So, add maneuver node. Radial out. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. So, just do that and then go to the PE because it'd be more efficient. And then. Gah! Oh. Ah! Oh. So much to learn. Okay, so let's warp here. Indeed, it all makes perfect sense now, Johnny Fan, but until you said it out loud, it's just witchcraft and wizardry all the way. And this is still on the big phallic stage of the rocket so far as well, so we are holding a lot more fuel back this time.
Right, I'm gonna speed up ever so slightly. Pausing. Uh, radial burns are all about changing direction, so they're more efficient when you're moving slowly, far from the planet. Retro and prograde burns are all about changing speed, which is more efficient when you're moving quickly at the PE. Ah, makes sense. I've, I'm sure I've had that information given to me before, but yeah, I, I think sometimes you need the first building block on this game to understand the following sentences and the amount of times I have, I've had people in, this, in the channel to start off with going oh yeah you need to be at your periapsis and da -da -da. and that's what you do for so and so and because I didn't really understand the term periapsis at the time I was like Psh. Psh. I'm firing rockets at Zeus oh, right let's Let's do this turny burn. Nice. So there we go, 9,000. It's over 9,000. Maybe I'll bring it up a, just ever so slightly. There we go, 11. Right, so now... Oh no, I didn't mean warp to here. I meant to do manoeuvre. That's fine. Had a manoeuvre. And it's just... Uh, Pro-grade burn? Retro-grade burn? Am I burning pro or retro? <laughs> Retrograde here, okay. Wow, well we've got periaps of 8,041. Uh, you can just do it by hand. Retro brings it in, okay. Um, and we've still got a whole other rocket stage left. Because this isn't the landing stage, this is just like the, the pricking about stage. Ooh, 20 and 4. I'm just going to give that a bit of a bit of prograde to bring that up a little bit so we can then do the old go to the tracking station. Yeah, mountains are not my friend. IRL or in-game? Alright, so we've got 10 and 22. That's, that's okay. Um, so now we map space center, line it up. Tracking station. 
the moon. And let's wait for you to rotate under the uh, under the rescue mission line. If you're going to. In fairness, I'm just going to bring you round to the front of the moon so we've at least got satellite tracking when you get round there. I was saying that. We might be able to bring you around about here somewhere. Which means we'll also have prime satellite and be closer to bring it into you. Day 49, and there's a good chance that you've been up for about a month in game. Yeah, indeed. Sunlight, satellite, all of the joys. Right, and I think that'll be that'll be the pass. Day 800. When did it say day 800? Oh, day 35. Right, leave facility. Oh no, don't want to leave facility. You want to take over the ship. How's the frame rates doing now, Martin? Are we still looking good, by the way? What's this thing? Agency VATCO advanced suction system. What's that? Oh well. Coloured orbits are often contracts. Yay! Right, let's... Mark 2, Mark 1, Mark 3. There's so many bits of moon module. Right. Let's just warp... Actually... Warp around here. Can I maneuver currently? The controls are locked. That's always delightful to know. Why can't I get... Oh, I can't even delete the... Uh... Can't even delete the maneuver node. I also hate that, Johnny FM. Just remember, you want to be burning closer to 30 or 40 seconds, not 10. Yeah, that's wrong. Uh, well, I'm going to get a signal. Of... Oh, I might actually be very soon to using you, mine, like a relay system, because you have a relay uh, thing on your module. Oh, it's... It's just... 
Oh, there we go. Signal. Bugger off. Alright, maneuver node. So I'll do that. Oh, that is shallow. Yeah, you, you shout at the surface for me, yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Oi! Burn retrograde! Will do! Now the scary part, that is very true. But we have, thanks to your guys' support, a whole like stage to just waste on landing. So if I want to just tick down my fuel for ages to bring us down like a soft, gentle butterfly, I can do. to here Let's just tick down this speed. Well, that's pretty much means we're going to be coming down on Martin now. I need to, I need to bring down a lot of this speed, but I don't want to go too far from Martin. That's the problem. I'm already now miles away from him. Hmm. If I do it a bit by eye, he says famous last words. Oh God. I need to be burning retro, don't I? Yes, I do. Probably will kill him with the engine, no, my luck. As expected, we've landed with loads of fuel, but bloody miles away from mine.
Ooh. Too much. Cheers, Martin, you called it. Use X to kill the, uh, the engine just before you hit zero. Well, Martin, you have another delightful ship with no engine. <laughs> I'm sure it's not important. Yeah, it's just the engine. Again. Always. Always the engine. Oh. <laughs> now, I don't know why. Because the engine didn't make contact, I don't know. It, or the landing legs got too much give. Now, Rob, what do we learn? Um, move on. Remember Martin fondly. Don't go to the moon. The legs are a bit springy. <laughs> May suggest a lander concept where the engines are on top. Just to be sure. Mm, you can suggest it. Um, right. Here we go. Oh shit. I really wish there was a control Z where you could just like undo picking up stuff. Right. Then I can move them that far down, it'll make it a bit more top heavy. But it does mean that the engine will be 100% protected. What do we say, folks? Yeah, you wanted to go down to about a consistent 10 meters a second downward. Uh, there was literally... There literally is a control Z. A control Z? Control Z. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> author. Mate. Mate. Oh, the challenges and trials and tribulations of my life. Oh, right. Okay, so. Wait, you didn't know about the Control Z thing? Uh, yeah, it's been a bit buggy just like everything um no I, I didn't right okay so we've got a slightly more droopy butt plug with legs that will definitely catch the engine this time even though it will be a bit more top heavy um i'm tempted to take off science junior just to give a bit more 
No, we need it. No, no, damn it. We're going to do some science. We're going to do this. Here we go. Let's take the crew out. No, Logicoma, you don't want to go and die there. Let's let's launch this again. Iron Man mode is fun. Just need to do everything the same as last time. 100%. I've even turned on the SAS before we've launched this time rather than having a little modicum of wonk. When coming down on landing, try to throttle enough so you're bleeding speed at a reliable rate. Okay. I'll do my best. That, and we don't have to 360 no scope for style on this one. Because um, obviously we know that the fifth uh, launch is not graded on style. That's just how uh, Kerbal is. So we don't have to 360 no scope, which will save us fuel efficiency. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to start turning at like 35,000 feet rather than anything else. But style points. Look, okay, I'll tell you what, if I feel a flourish coming on, I'll do some 360 for you, mine. But only if I feel a th flourish. And if that's what happens later on, that's why I felt a flourish coming on. Do you know the thing that's killing me more than anything? My OCD, knowing the fact that I have littered the moon with trash. And I, I, I can't clean it up. I need, like, a Kerbal Womble up there to sort out all the trash. Gentle tilts are gentle. Little biodegradable, right? I'm not sending you up on a biodeg biodegradable rocket, Martin. If that'd be the case, your sh your ship and your suit would be degraded by now. I feel like the engine is biodegradable as well. Whoever, whatever engine designer we're using, I just it doesn't feel reliable anymore. It's not the ship design; it's the shoddy engine we're sending up there. That's clearly made of cardboard and toilet to, toilet rolls, and maybe a couple of cocktail sticks to to give some stability. Uh, I need to go and trap my travel bag. Try not to do anything hilarious for 10 minutes. No promises, dude. Spit and duct tape. I think that would be the title to my book about my sex life. Thinking Martin. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Maelstrom Alpha isn't just stuck on the moon. He's also a streamer of great renown. He does some really good retro streams. He's currently going through... Uh, oh, God. We've run out of fuel. 
He's currently going through Mario 3 right now, uh, Super Mario 3, and if nothing else, it's just good for me to see him fail at doing things now and then. Uh, for last time I was watching him do the cloud air level, which he loved so much. You love all those spiky shells, don't you, Martin? But uh, you should definitely go check him out. Uh, as his channel is a really good time and he deserves your love and if you do me the favour Martin, of giving yourself a shout out because you are the mod you have the power Right, we're in orbit. Got quite a lot of the cock rocket left. That didn't feel terrible. Oh god. Oh man, I love retro games. Consider yourself having a follow. Johnny a fan, yeah, good. Spreading the love. And uh, he's also uh, getting to the end of Mario 3, so if there's any retro games you want to see him play, for instance, I got him to play one of my personal favourites, Link to the Past, Zelda, um, I'm sure he would oblige, even though he has just finished Star Fox, which I think could be also simulated by huffing a can of nitrous oxide and reading a geometry spreadsheet. Um, so yeah, be gentle. Yeah, you pay for uh, play a mixture, but Friday is retro day. Retro retro day is my favourite day, mine. You know it is. What other games are you playing right now? Uh, I saw Star Fox and Link the Past in the Avods. Were they blind runs? Those games were my childhood. Damn it, guys, I was busy talking and I missed my node. But you know what, it's okay, because I love you all anyway. Castlevania 4 next sun uh, next Sunday is no more heroes uh, you know one game I'd love you to play Maelstrom because a friend of my, it was one of those issues I, I went around my friend's house to play on his mega drive because oh god that's not what I intended um I was in the I don't own a Mega Drive club and I had to go his um, his house to play on it and he had a game which was Terminator vs Robocop and I only ever get to see got to see the first couple of levels of it and it looked cool as hell but um, as I said I, ne I never got to see it so hmm I have now, yet again, undercooked. I'm using a lot of fuel twatting about with this, but...
That's fine. Chrono Trigger is one of my best games of all time. I'm considering it soon as I've, uh, I'm off for a while now, not back to uni until September, so I have time to sink into an RPG. Well, likewise, in terms of RPG, I'd be quite intrigued to see how you get on with the original Fallout RPG. Because that was a game. And a lot of people don't even remember it was actually a thing. Donkey Kong Country, SMW, Super Mario World, Earthbound, and so many other SNES games I want to dive into. Yoshi's Island is really good. I always forget that game. I played Super Mario World loads, but never played Yoshi's Island. I'm the same. I, I played Super Mario World and never played Yoshi's Island. By the way, is your game finished, Maelstrom? The one that you've actually been developing for uni? Because I want to. I want to play that. I, I want to play the hell out of that. Marking us, although it's no mean finished. It's about to be. Oh god, hang on. Uh, it's about as finished as a game made 12 weeks, whatever will be. Dude, I want to play it. Firstly, that music track was sick. Right. 
going to put us on a spurious wonky orbit so I can rotate the moon round and land on the front of it so we have a nice light Dear Lord, the efficiency this time. We've still got a whole another like two stages to land. This is mental. If you're moving the trajectory to cross over the target, it's best to do it from 90 degrees um, before or after the target. Okay. Well, it, it should be okay now. He says, hoping. One more. Extra fuel is always a good sign. Uh, uh, yeah, like I s said, if you're trying to hit the target Whereas right now, uh, set up for a landing much later. You got this! And when you're doing the initial landing burn, you should always try and keep your trajectory going a little beyond the target. Okay. So let's... We should be able to see... Right. Add manoeuvre. Right. I'm going to massively overcook it. Because last time I needed to massively overcook it to bring my speed down, so... You try and put right on them, you're going to undershoot and kill the horizon vertically. Okay. Kill more horizon velocity, even. Right. I'm well impressed how far this fuel's going on the last... Oh, blimey, we nearly got it fully burnt on that stage. This is Angry Bee Calling Lonely Soldier. 
We are coming in to get you, my friend. If you can keep your fuel up to this stage, burns become incredibly efficient around the moon. Heard that one before. Shh, shh, shh. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. It's fine. Look how far the landing gear goes past that engine. We're coming back with an engine, guys. Or oh, we're not coming back. Oh. You believe this time. Well, you've been fooled before. Um, Alright, let's warp. And then... It's, it's pretty crazy it takes 3,000 delta V to get into orbit. It's pretty much less than you have to go anywhere else. Right, let's start to cook off some of the some of the speed just because we've got fuel to burn at this stage Mate, you can see the tests laying around all over the shop. I mean, it's 32 impact. So. Landing, not impact. Yes, whack and hurt. I feel the belief. Um, you're pretty high up, so it's going to be fast. Lean towards... Lean towards safety over efficiency. Okay. Oh god. That stage is burnt out, that's why we weren't stopping. Mate, the gear's been out for a while. 
Okay, I'm back. You may proceed, dude. You turned up just as we're starting our uh, approach to El Ropio Landio. They had the other booster land, I think that must have been. Right. We've got plenty of time. Burn at a reliable rate, okay. So we don't want to bring it down too quick, but we want to bring it down enough, so a bit more than that. Permission to land like a dainty butterfly. <sighs> don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Oh, we have a rocket. This is savable. This is savable. Shit. <laughs> Martin, you might be going home. Right, now if I open the doors of a supply bay... Come on! Okay, open the doors of the supply bay one more time. Holy shit, guys! Mine! You might be going home! Yes! <laughs> to be fair, that's how a dainty butterfly would have landed on an account of suffocating the lack of breathable atmosphere. Nice work. <gasps> you know it, right. Okay, and we are, I think, like 400 metres from you? I think I can see your wreckage. Right, let's go back to the tracking station. Or, can I, can I just... I can just switch to you because you're so close. If I can just cycle through all the different wreckages. Maelstrom Alpha. Oh, <gasps> Maelstrom Alpha! EVA! Jump off. Oh god, now which one is the one I need to go to? Mark th three. Mark one. I think it's that one. I'm pretty sure it's that one. I'm pretty sure it's that one. Hang on, actually, let's just... Let's cycle through them. Right, and let's rename this... 
bad boy. Where is it? Where? How do you rename it again? Rename the vessel. The Alapega last chance. Approved debris, that's not the one. It is. Um. <laughs> that probe must be marked as a biological hazard. You can uh, hold shift to run. I, th I think that is his run. Houston, could you rename the vessel? <laughs> so it apart from the other debris, please. <laughs> you know it. This is emotional time, Martin. You're going to be at the wheel of a pilotable vessel very shortly. And now I just have to hope I don't slingshot you into space. Or get you trapped in Earth's gravity. Or crash you into the moon when I try and lift you off from this in that tin can I'm happy for a nice slow walk back as well mate um, quite frankly after all of this horrible crashing and stuff like that belt and braces I will just happily chat to you guys while we go for a slow jog oh can I speed up time while we're jogging No, not while the ship's under acceleration. I can't believe how much debris is in this canyon. No risk of me exploding on a walk, yeah. This is an emotional moment. I'm 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 so excited. Can always <laughs> I don't want to physical warp it because no my luck I'll jog him round the moon to a point where he's now twice as far away from the pod or like the opposite side of the moon so we have to lend, land a whole other recovery mission to try and bring him back Jesus I've just seen the time Come on, mine. You're halfway to your your. Oh, I could I could get your little. <laughs> That's fine. No, 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 Rob, no, Rob, no. Okay, so I shouldn't be doing that. Is what I'm what I'm getting. No, <laughs> you fucking kill me with a jetpack. They can die from landing too hard. Okay, the jetpack goes back on the side panels. But in fairness, it got us a lot closer to the ship. So <laughs> the chat. No, 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 no. Here we go. Fuck, he screwed the pooch. That's right, I screwed the pooch. By the way, guys, check out my new T-shirt. Super Mario Brothers. And it's it's Ghibli. I'm so pleased with it. Yeah, um, shift is a run button. Maybe you can't do it in low grav. More than likely, but we are nearly there. I can see I can see the different parts of the vessel. It's all good. Well, we're just here. Let's have an EVA report. You look up and search the sky for Kerbin and suddenly you feel very small. That's, uh... That's accurate. Deploy shoot. Do Kerbins have a shoot? Y 
You can see the intact engine. You really can. Hope you didn't leave the lights on. I didn't even turn the lights on. It's dark here. Level 3 Kerbins have a personal parachute. Martin, are you level 3? When did you get so pro? Right. I suppose I have to get the jetpack out now just to get you up here. Oh. If you didn't beat your face on the bottom of the engine. We'll get there. Mm. Oh, right. It, it's Q to burn up, isn't it? Is it Q? No, that's just a change. Shift is vertical thrust. Oh god. He's in! Shit the bed, he's in! Right. We can see the planet. We have fuel. So it's just straight up, out, get in orbit, and then orbit out to the Earth. Am I correct? I'm going to sell all this out before we start going. Otherwise, I'm going to kill you. Um, this is what the Martian would have been like if instead of Matt Damon they had cast Mr. Bean. <laughs> totally. He's still going to very shaft me. Yeah, going to low orbit. So effectively low orbit, I'll just burn up so we're at 10,000 metres or whatever, and then just turn and, and burn prograde to bring the orbit round. You can turn east almost immediately. Just as soon as you fire out the mountains. East. Ninety degrees? Oh, did you do science stuff? Very good of you to remind me. I suppose you've had a long while to think about this kind of stuff. Let's have a crew report as well. How do you feel? Nothing new to report. You're in the same model cabin as you were beforehand. Yeah, 90 degrees on the nav ball. Okay, so we're going up and 90 degrees on the nav ball. Here we go, guys. Oh, the tension is real. I am shatting my pants.
Okay. Alright, let's warp here. When you want to, when they're empty, you want to ditch them as soon as possible. We'll do. But that last tank is really like balls to the wall because that's a tiny tank. <sighs> Probably used a bit too much there, but that's fine. Double the DV you need to return from Kerbin. Right, we're fine. Okay, right, so... Now I want to manoeuvre... Um, it's, it's fine, Martin, it's fine. Right, let's add a manoeuvre. Can't do that on this side. What am I doing? All right. So can I do that and then just jump into the sphere of influence and then burn off that periapsis at, at the AP? Because I'll effectively be at the AP once I enter the what's name, and then. Um, You want the orange to, uh, orange line to be backwards, roughly parallel with the moon's orbit. What, like like that? That looks horrible. No, no, more burn. That's a lot more burn. Not more burn. Just change the change the position of the burn. Um. Ah, oh, yeah, we can actually do. Maneuvers around the other side of the moon because I just realised you are a manned mission, if I'm correct. Pretty close to where the ship is right now. Okay, let's try the node there then. Oh, 
Oh. Like that? Yes, like that. Okay, so then we just go out that far when we reach... Mm. So what's going to happen is I'll burn to that and then it will jump on into the influence of Kerbin, is that right? I don't get this. We've got 43 minutes, so effectively just... Okay, so burn like that, that's my moon escape. And then I'll end up out there. Ah, if you moon at mouse over the escape. Ah, so I'll be there, and then it'll throw me into that orbit, and I can f fuck around with it there. Okay. That makes more sense. Need another retro burn to finalize re entry, that's fine. <laughs> you can do it in here from uh, in one go. But I'll, yeah, I'll do it in two. I've got plenty of fuel, as you say, so. Right, so I think that's right, isn't it, guys? Mate, are you going down just as the the the, the science junior and all that kind of stuff? You've got plenty of parachutes. God, I hope that science junior isn't top heavy and you don't just fucking <laughs> fall on your face. I feel, I will I will wreck shit up if that happens. Okay, so I'm I'm thinking that's right, guys. So the moon will keep moving, and we will enter over there. But just is a shield under the science junior? Yes, there is. Talking of science junior. Let's do some science while we're waiting. I'm so nervous. EVA report, don't deploy shoot. <sighs> Is there a shield on the sun? That thing has a very low tolerance. Right, 
So do I want to warp to around there? Is that right? So I'll I'll warp a bit. Oh, the tension that is here is just is just horrid. Yeah, so warp to cut Kevin's sphere of influence. Okay, so warping, warping, still warping, so much warping. All the warping. Right. Nice. So now we go all the way round to the AP and then bring the PE in. Is that right? Uh, maximum safety. Retro until your PE is. Oh, so I can just retro from here. Uh, you can retrograde here, but it's slightly less efficient uh, than doing it right at the AP. Okay, so I'll just go round. And I can just bring the PE straight down to like... 35, can't I? And then just bring it in. Is that right? You put it at that and then lower my AP. Ah, so I come down on the AP because it's slower, is that right? Right, so we've still got a reasonable amount of fuel. Right, so... In those tanks, we've still got that tank to use. What do we reckon? Happy for that? Look at the top PE height. Oh, yeah. To say 10,000. Okay, so we're happy in thinking, guys, to zip round to the PE, bring the AP in as we plan to, and then land it that way, yeah? And then we can play some Aerosmith. Yeah, just make sure you do not burn all your fuel slowing down just because you want to use the last bit of a uh, last bit of an 
bit at AP for final re-entry. You actually have enough Delta V to do a re-entry directly from PE. No, it's, um, what, so I could, no, it's okay, I'll, I'll, I don't, mate. No. The side tanks are still fine. Because they're all back feeding into that one, so it's all gravy. Okay, I'm actually going to stop and bring you back round to the periaps again for the efficiency, yo. So we find out the fuel tank hasn't been back feeling correctly and we just run out of fuel and you're left spinning around the earth for the next episode. Earth, Kerbin. Jet's nice tank now. Okay. Um... Enable crossfeed or okay, it's back round to the It won't matter. I'll do that works too. Okay. I really hope we've got enough fuel. You waste a bit because you didn't jettison the tanks right away, you slowed down a lot. Uh, you can just do final burn at AP. Do my final burn at AP? Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's not much fuel left. Okay, so now I need to go to the AP and then burn...
Yeah, you aren't watching your fuel at all. I'm just following what you guys are saying. Look at fueling curve. You have 31 milliseconds. So I want to go around. So you guys... Because I thought you were telling me to bring in my AP, and that's where I was going to drop in. As in, like, drop in on my AP. Because it's my slowest point. Is that not right? Or am I going to my AP now and pull in my PE? Okay, so I'm going to the AP to bring in my PE. Is that correct? <laughs> yep. Retroburn at AP to around 40. Yeah, try and get to 40 or less. Okay. Stressful times, guys. Stressful times. Okay, so we've got 39. And we've got like a Nat's Cocker fuel left. So, now it's just, just landing, basically. You're literally 1.2 1, 1 seconds from running out of fuel. Fuck those tanks, they're gone now. Okay, so just get rid of them. Yeah, stage. Now ball is on surface mode. <laughs> He's so happy. Yeah, it can decouple. I don't even know what those are. I think they're just bits of metal from the feet. Ah. You know how I said there was a... F there was a... <laughs> oh! You know how I said there was a heat shield? That doesn't look like a heat shield. There's a heat shield. Oh, I thought. Oh, I was sure there was a heat shield. EVA grabbed the data from the Science Junior. Good shout. That's fine. Service bay has pretty good... Uh, can you manually decouple it? Nope, I have I have no more decouplers or anything, so... All I can do is open and shut the doors or everything. Oh... Why didn't I put a heat shield on it? Let's warp to the point where we start coming down. Ah, 
Ha ha ha! I forgot now we've got Martin back finally. He's my only pilot that can do that. So I can just click him and tell him to keep it on retrograde. Uh, at least we've slowed down a fuckload. Could have been a lot worse. We're just travelling at a fair pace, to be honest. That is a that is a speed. <laughs> well, Maelstrom Alpha, we are now down to your piling abilities. It's nothing to do with me. We just opened the chutes. Uh, at least double that before. Yeah, very true. Yeah, we're now on your piloting skills and abilities. He'll probably level up again once you get him home. <laughs> Taking your own piss for months gives you a lot of experience. He's seen some shit and some things. He's been growing some ass potatoes. He's been living on piss biscuits. He's just been having a rough time. Oh, we're starting to get warm. You need to piss for coolant. I'm very experienced in seeing my own piss. Well, I certainly don't think that science Julian is coming home back with us. Or, in fact, oh god. That means those parachutes aren't. But we've got a chute on the top. Alright, camera angles. Ah, you know what? It's doing okay. The Cylon shoots are pretty resilient to you say that. Things actually holding together better than I thought. Yeah. I think the random spurious bits of metal are helping hold it all together. Famous <laughs> last words. We've still got all the shoots, guys. We've still got all the shoots. A plus. <laughs> Our rocket design. Mate, structural science juniors, that's where it's at. It's just part of re-entry. Yeah, it's just standard. Now all we need is for you to come down over mountains, mine. You love them. Anytime you want to stop being on fire, that's cool with me. Time of impact, 47 seconds. <gasps> Mine! You have a biome. Uh, desert! <gasps> we haven't even been to the deserts either! Awesome. The desert is my last biome I need... Um, to actually survey. So, oh, if only we had the Science Junior. Martin. Good golly. If you could have held it together. If I look like I'm doing a mountain landing, you can change the chutes deploy, yeah? You can arm the chutes at any time and they won't deploy until it's safe. I'm going to deploy them at about... about 6,000. Just to be safe. Oh no, you're coming on down on the shores now, mine. <gasps> the shoots have worked. I mean, 
the shoots when they activate might flip you upside down. But you're not going to die. I so nearly done an EVA then, just because I know you can do an EVA when you're coming down on the chutes. But if I'd have done it at that speed, you would have just been ripped off the tanks when the chutes opened. Probably shouldn't do an EVA now. Um, oh, oh, okay. We we can EVA now. Okay, that's fine. Can't you think that this space program is an elaborate insurance scam? I swear the heads let go. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, guys. The island of Rob's space program has finally had a successful moon mission. I say successful moon mission. We've completed the first moon mission after firing several rockets at the moon. I'm so happy. Martin, you're not dead. And when you land, you can have all the low-grade Martian water you could ever want. It's actually witness protection on the moon long enough for anyone to stop looking for him. That's exactly what it is. We, we've just hid him from the mob on the one place the mob can't get him. The moon. And they can't get him because not even we can get him. Oh, mate. I am made up. This has been like three weeks of me sitting waiting for this. And it has been just like murdering my OCD. But... <sighs> You're back. You're safe, Martin. I'm, j I'm just going to not even mess around. Recover the vessel. No science or anything. Not dead. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you, Johnny a fan. Thank you, Maelstrom Alpha. Thank you, um, author, um, author the, uh, you guys have been my rock. Um, and 300 science you brought home, Martin. Oh, smashing all of the science. You gained three XP. Oh, let's have a look. Brought home 300 sites and 400,000 bucks. I missed that. I should load up a random ship. Uh, uh. There you are! There you are! You're my pilot again! I'm so pleased. And how much dollar have we got? Mate! You brought home all of the dollarage. Whew. <laughs> Does my piss taste better now I'm in a crater? No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, mate. Take a crew report above the moon. Mm, that doesn't look terrible. Explore the moon! Martin! Do 
you want to go explore the moon? <laughs> Fuck no, please. <laughs> Yeah, at least you don't have to land on that one. That's true. Fly by the Mun. Land on the Mun. I've got tourists that want to go to the Mun. Really? Rescue Lola. Rescue Maddock. Okay, right. So I think that that is going to be the end of my stream guys the glory and joy of bringing back the hailed champion pilot of the island of rob space program maelstrom alpha and that will be day eight the save it has been a long and winding road getting there but we have done it and that means we have uh, plenty of dollar bills and a load of interesting stuff to do next time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it there and next time probably what we'll do is we will go back onto the old chestnut of trying to rescue these people and I even have do I have a ship that's still floating around that is a rescue ship is that a thing I do. I got sufficiently annoyed just to leave the rescue ship floating in space. I think. Or... Yeah, I did. Nice. So we'll do that next time. But it has been my absolute pleasure to stream for you guys. Thank you for making my first stream back a especially enjoyable one and as always i've happily enjoyed your company now if you just hang around for one moment let's go and raid some folks who are we gonna raid um right if you time walk a few days you may get some contracts for rescuing people uh, from a Mun orbit, which will count as a uh, count for rendezvous. Oh, good to know, Johnny Ethan. Okay, we are going to raid Monkey of the Mist. Because I like his name. What Monkey of Mist, that is. But take care, guys. Thank you very much. Um, Got jet early morning for me tomorrow, dude. I am in work early as well. But as I said, thank all of you guys for coming into the channel. Always appreciated. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you around next time. And if I hopefully we'll see you on my Friday horror stream of Aliens Isolation. Now take care of yourselves and see you soon. Also, tell the monkey the mist, the island Rob sent you.